Mr. Trump, change your ways. Because what you're doing is you're hurting the people that need the most help. Our community, if you were to study the demographics, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy being on the border. And this unwanted attention, this unwanted militarization of our community is unwelcome. You are not welcome. That was a resident of a border community in Eagle Pass, Texas, where Trump would be coming to do what he always does, use the border and the issue of immigration as a political cudgel to wield against Democrats. What he refuses to acknowledge, however, is that in doing so, he's making the lives of those who actually live there exponentially more difficult. But then I guess we shouldn't be surprised that Trump would destroy the lives of other people to help himself politically. Now, so as not to bury the lead here, the fact that Trump even went to the border in the first place proves the earlier thesis that the only reason we don't have a border bill in place right now is because Donald Trump himself wanted to preserve this issue for his own partisan benefit. It. And by the way, don't just take my word for it, take his. And I'll fight it all the way. I notice a lot of the senators, a lot of the senators are trying to say respectfully they're blaming it on me. I said, that's okay, please blame it on me. Please. And in this deal, which we, by the way, killed. I think we killed it. I think it's dead. In fact, his culpability for the situation at the border is so obvious that even members of his own party have come out and admitted as much. I think, I think the border is a very important issue for uh, Donald Trump, uh, and the fact that he would communicate to uh, Republican senators and Congress people that he doesn't want us to solve the border problem because he wants to blame uh, Biden for it is uh, is really appalling. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in the very strange maneuvering by many on the right to, to, to torpedo uh, a potential border reform bill. If we have a bill that, on net, significantly decreases illegal immigration, and we sabotage that, that is, that is inconsistent with what we told our voters we would do. But it would be a, a pretty unacceptable dereliction of, of your duty. I had a popular commentator four weeks ago that I talked to that told me flat out, if you try to move a bill that solves the border crisis during this presidential year, I will do whatever I can to destroy you. But I would acknowledge President Trump failed, along with Republicans, Paul Ryan and, and, and the guys, they failed in 2018 to actually move a border security bill to tighten this so that we weren't dealing with this crisis right now. They failed to actually get the wall built. President Trump signed 12 continuing resolutions after he said he would never sign another one if they didn't give him the money to finish building the wall. Look, th this stuff matters. It adds up. I call balls and strikes. Uh, this is not hard. The speaker says that if one migrant comes across the border, that's one migrant too many, and your bill doesn't do enough to completely shut down the border. Actually, it does completely shut down the border in many ways. The truth is that while Trump may have shown up at the border because he thought he could score some cheap win, he actually gave the whole game away in doing so. Take a listen to what he went to the border to actually say. He's a terrible president, the worst president our country's ever had, probably the most incompetent president we've ever had, but it's... Uh, allowing thousands and thousands of people to come in from China, Iran, Yemen, the Congo, Syria, and a lot of other nations. Many nations are not very friendly to us. He's transported the entire columns of uh, fighting aged men, and they're all at a certain age. And you look at them, and they say, they, they look like warriors to me. Something's going on that's bad. Now the United States is being overrun by the Biden migrant crime. It's a new form of a vicious violation to our country. It's migrant crime. We call it Biden migrant crime, but that's a little bit long. So we'll just leave it. But every time you hear the term migrant crime, you know where that comes from, allowing thousands and thousands and actually millions and millions of people to come. Could be 15 million, could be 18 million by the time he uh, gets out of office. No wonder they come. I mean, uh, you look at what this governor, Newscom from California, isn't that his name, Newscom? Uh, what he's done to California is unbelievable. That's what Trump is doing at the border, debuting new material, waging tired political attacks. That's all it ever is for him. It's just one more opportunity for him to score some cheap political win because that's all he knows how to do. When all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Contrast that with what Biden did during his dueling trip to the border. I want the people to understand clearly what happened here. This bill was in the United States Senate, was on its way to being passed. Then it was derailed by rank and file politics, rank partisan politics. 
The U.S. Senate needs to reconsider this bill, and those senators who oppose it need to set politics aside and pass it on merits, not on whether it's going to benefit one party or benefit the other party. It's about whether it benefits the American people. It's what the American people deserve. The Speaker of the House needs to put this bill on the floor, because if you put it on the floor unrestricted, it would pass. The majority of Democrats and Republicans in both houses support this legislation until someone came along and said, don't do that, it'll benefit the incumbent. That's a hell of a way to do business in America for such a serious problem. I understand my predecessor's legal past today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with this issue, instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me, or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. You know and I know. It's the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country has ever seen. So instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? Let's remember who the heck we work for. We work for the American people, not the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. We work for the American people. And let's remember who we are. We're the United States of America. Now, no, I mean this. Think about this. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity, nothing when we work together. And if all things we should be working together on is this, and we have the formula to get it done, God bless you all, and may God protect our Border Patrol, and God protect our troops. If you can watch that from Joe Biden after watching Donald Trump's mindless stream of consciousness and tell me that Trump is actually more interested in solving problems than Biden, then frankly, I want whatever you're smoking. The truth is that Trump and Republicans have zero interest in solving problems, but they have every intention in entrenching them for their own partisan benefit. How many times do we have to be tricked by Republicans who claim they want to fix things before we realize that they have no intention to actually do so? They said they wanted infrastructure. It never happened. They said they wanted a middle class tax cut. It never happened. They said they wanted a better health care plan to replace the ACA. It never happened. It's just Lucy pulling the football away from Charlie over and over and over again. So if your goal in electing government officials is empty gestures and partisan theatrics, then by all means, vote for Trump and Republicans. But if you're looking for your hard-earned tax dollars to actually go toward governing, then stay as far away from the GOP as humanly possible. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you wanna to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.